Sade. I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Glad to see you, my friend. Can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Siora, do you know anything about the trial that awaits us inside? My mother passed it during the last election, but it was Vinbar that was elected in the end. Did she tell you about it? A little, but it is a secret trial. It is important that you give your whole heart to it. I know that you must choose your path in your way. Combat is not necessarily the best response, even if it allows you to get to where you are going. If you are confronted with animals, remind yourself that they must feed. And there are ways of altering food to make those who eat it fall into a deep and peaceful sleep. Hmm. Is that an idea that your mother used? It's clever. Thank you. potion on it. You did it. They're sleeping. We should be able to pass without a fight. Watch out, Anadai! Look at the basin and the symbols around it. Given the islander's taste for rituals and enigmas, I think you should touch the water. You were freezing and you had this empty stare. The water in the basin spoke to you, no? Yes. Exactly like the lightning struck tree. I was something else for a brief moment. Tell us. Visions like this are guides, a keys for the sacred rituals. I was in the sky. I was floating, carried by the wind. And it was a cold feeling. I was high up, and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly. And then the sun warned me. Suddenly I bounced on the ground. And I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before, the vision dissipated. And I was suddenly with you again.
This stone is blackened, eaten away. I think it's supposed to evoke death. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. On this stone, the sun is visible. The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm certain. This drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent life? Here, this looks like a snowflake. The snow, or maybe ice. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this candle. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. This must be the seal that Glendan spoke. It looks like the silhouette of the mountain of Tirfredi. And a face is drawn within it. The spirit of the volcano. One of the faces of Einar Nilfrichtemann. to mad on Almanawi. I congratulate you for passing the trial. Enter. And so you have returned. Can you tell me what the seal deep within the cavern brings into your mind? A face in the mountain of Tirfredi. Then you have seen the true face of the island when looking into her waters. And the island has seen inside you. You sent the beasts into a deep sleep. That was very clever. Another before you did the same. In choosing the path of silence, you avoided confronting the Dosantats. Finally, you have completed the ritual. And in so doing, the Guardian recognized you as a wise man. You choose to trust the way of rules and wisdom. It is a difficult path, but it carries generous fruits. The island has seen your intelligence and also your compassion. The friendship of Katasach towards you no longer surprises me. Am I authorized to encounter Enor Mil Frichtemann now? to present him with my request. If the High King agrees, yes. We shall not oppose that decision. Only a High King or High Queen is allowed to open the sanctuary. I warned you, your voyage is far from over. I suppose that I'm going to need to convince them as well. Where can I find them? I do not know. And I believe that it may be another trial on your path to find the one you seek. Is he hiding? Has he been captured? He disappeared several months ago. 
Since then, we have not heard from him. He was worried about the Renaixe. The last people to have seen him, I'm told, were the most important chiefs of the clans here at the council. There was Dedra, Blatnid, Ulan, and Dunkas. My mother, alas, can tell us nothing more. Yes, I heard about your loss, Siora. And the worst, Tirse. Morning is a difficult time to pass. And the worst, Tirse. Thank you, Glyndon. Dedra is the Mal of the clan of the Storm Warriors. You will find her in the village of Vedlug. I've already met her. She sent me to confront a guardian. That sounds like her. Ulan is the Mal of the village of Vignamri, near the coast. It is said that he welcomes the Renaxe. As for Dunkas, he leads the Vigigidor. He is the chief of the Earth Healers. His village is not very far from the Didekid and Nadagais. Very well. I will go and see them. Try to find this High King. Thank you, Glendad. Kwa'awalam said. I hope that you will find him. Um, can I do anything? I must leave you. Glad to see you, my f Can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Sade, can I do anything? I must leave you. Glad to see you. Can I do it? I must leave you. Lieutenant, I demand an explanation. Tell us what is going on. We haven't heard anything about Lord Dorsey's condition in spite of our inquiries. We are extremely worried. And then, all of a sudden, one of his guards appears, shaken and on his own, though he is part of his retinue. Please, allow me the chance to shed some light, my lady. Your soldier is nothing more than a coward for abandoning his highness. Tell me. What is going on? This soldier has just reported in. He is asking for reinforcements. He believes that Lord Dorsey has been attacked. He believes? He ran here without full knowledge of what happened firsthand. I... I was sent on patrol far from the camp. But I heard screams from men and from beasts. I wanted to return to camp, but then I heard a deafening sound. Grinding like a landslide. I thought then it would be best just to go and get help. Thank you, Lieutenant. You are dismissed. I would like to have a discussion with this man alone. Yes, sir. My lady, could you lead these fine people into the hallway, if you would be so kind? Certainly. I deplore this embarrassing turn of events. But know that you have my full support in all circumstances. In the interest of avoiding a general panic, tell me precisely what happened back there. Your cousin ordered us to escort him beyond the town limits. The islander convinced him to go on some journey. By islander, do you mean the Denegad that came to treat his affliction? Yes, a, a strange bird. Missing more than one feather, you ask me, sir. I, I was ordered to set up patrol along a small path. 
rather far from the rest of the company. I was told to protect our perimeter from anyone wandering along. According to the Islander, it was the only access to their planned destination. I did my rounds for quite some time. Not a soul came along. But then I heard cries a ways off. And I went running to help. I heard an enormous crashing sound, li like an avalanche of rocks. So then I turned right back around. And you ran all the way here? Do you know precisely where the company was when you heard these sounds? No, not precisely. I hadn't gone there. But I could show you where I was posted. The Islander said they were following the path. But he was quite a ways ahead when I lost sight of them. Why didn't you go and look for yourself? To see if they had been buried by a rock slide? What? Alone? What could I have done? It seemed of greater urgency to go and get help. I'm still having trouble deciding if cowardice or intelligence got the best of you. But that's a question for your superiors. My cousin was quite weak. Do you know why he decided to follow the Denegad? His Highness was feeling much better. The potions that he was drinking must have been potent. I mean to show no disrespect to His Highness. But that islander had the high ground in the War of Wits. I wasn't privy to their counsel. I haven't the beginning of an explanation for the expedition. But your cousin was all full of enthusiasm and ordered that we set out as quick as we could make ready. That sounds like him. What sort of mess has he gotten himself into? Again? I am sorry, sir. But I don't know anything else I could tell you. Dismissed, soldier. Looks like I'm going on an expedition. Thank you, sir. Sade, I'm happy. Can I do anything? I must leave you. Glad to see you. I must leave. Carols, I am glad you came to talk to me. I have something to ask you. I'm listening. What do the women on your island do when they really like someone? Everything is so complicated where you come from. In my culture, we do not talk about our feelings, especially not amongst nobles. Marriages are arranged more often than not. <laughs> I knew it. Never mind. I'll do it my way. Your body and your soul are speaking with mine on all Manawi. And if you feel the same way, I would love to spend some time alone with you. I would love that too. Meet me outside my room the next time we're at the house. I will be there. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Desade, um, can I do anything? I must leave you. On all Manawi, do you still agree to spend some time with me? Of course. I was waiting for this moment. Come.
I have never met someone like you. On Almanawi. My heart has never beaten so fast for anyone. What about you? Do you think you are my Nanundanem? I hope so. Because I love you too, Siora. Kairto. This is how we say I love you in our language. Koden nes greda komolai. Our two hearts beat together. What do you seek? I am in need of your help, Dedra. You have done great deeds for the Senja Dananedas. I have not forgotten. So speak. I am listening. I seek Vinbar, your High King. I know you were among those who last saw him. Do you know where he can be found? The last time that I saw him, we were united in council at Dorhad Genedu. We needed to decide what to do about you, the Renoikse. ...and we could not come to an agreement. Ulan spoke about all we could supposedly learn from you and obtain from you. Donka spoke of maintaining a balance so nothing would change... ...and of course Bladnid and I spoke of battle. Vinbar remained unconvinced. He did not like you... ...but he feared the fighting would scar our island. He decided to go to the heart of the oil... ...in order to hear the counsel of Enol Milfrichtimon. He told us that this retreat from the world would take time. And I have not seen him since. He is still there? No. That was a very long time ago. Speak to those close to him in Wenshavar, in his village. Wherever he has chosen to disappear, he would have gone there first. Thank you, Deirdre.
This is the camp that Constantine's escort must have established. It looks more like a battlefield. I hope that Omegad and your cousin survived the fight. Search the zone. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what's happened here. Most of the weapons are missing. Our soldiers wouldn't have taken a rest without defense. The tents were lacerated by what looks like claws. And there are traces of blood everywhere. Some of these men must have been attacked in their sleep. By beasts? Our soldiers were attacked by surprise. And there were animals among the assailants. However, our men reacted properly. They were armed and they fled as best they could. There are no bodies. And no sign of Constantine or Catasac's presence here. Perhaps they were in another place. And the soldiers wanted to join them. We need to follow the tracks. This area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the zone and taken this path followed by their assailants. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. It isn't really a place of a cult, uh, but rather a place of anchoring. A place where Donegada perform a ritual to become Sinol Menawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps. Katasach wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Perhaps. There are bodies, and without a doubt there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. Corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly until the end. Neither Constantine nor Katasak are among them. The crater, without a doubt caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been carrying it. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. This blade is a native ritual knife. And this bowl contained a potion. Someone wanted to perform a ritual here. Could Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms? Constantine and Katasak must have been visiting this place. Perhaps performing some sort of healing ritual. When the attack took place, the soldiers intervened, and many fell during the fight. But a group was able to escape down this path. We need to continue following their tracks. this way. 